Welcome back friends, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video lecture we are going to talk about genetics career in 2022 in India. So if you like genetics subject and particularly genetics is one of my favorite subjects where we understand how genes work and how exactly the genetic interaction lead to uh, how the organism functions and we study everything in the genetics level in the level of DNA and how they make proteins, how the proteins interact with each other. So this is a wholesome study of how a cell works in a miniature level. So if you like genetics and if you want to build your career on genetics, then this video is just for you because this in this video I'm going to discuss about the genetics opportunity in India, the genetics career options in India in 2022 and the years to come. So stay tuned and watch the video. So if you study genetics as uh, the subject, uh, the special subject and you continue the study of genetics and you want to continue with genetics in your professional career, then you need to understand where exactly the geneticists will be recruited in India in the years to come. So basically, uh, when we read genetics is the theory part that we prepare. So genetics can be divided into two different parts. One is the theory based job. Uh, all these jobs are dry lab jobs where we deal with softwares and data sets where you need to study the different complex data utilizing softwares and then you need to analyze the data and finally finding out important information and based on that information you design different experiments and uh, apply for research grants to continue the research so this portion is a research work so genetics one career is the research career getting the fund and continue the research because genetics is directly linked with the human welfare and the second is the direct a wet lab job where the laboratory works need to be done and after the laboratory works you know in the laboratory work is a molecular genetics part where you study how the genes uh, are uh, responsible for different traits and how different genes are responsible for different tra traits how different genes are interacting with them and how the proteins interact with themselves all these things we study and along with that once the study is made again uh, analysis is needed so the recruiting agencies are those which is mostly in India particularly, it's the clinical uh, recruiters or the clinical geneticists that are needed. Clinical or medical uh, geneticists are the segment where as a genetic engineer, uh, your job will be as, as a genetic counselor. Okay, so what is the job profile of a genetic counselor is to find out the genetic profile of different individuals. So either uh, for a newborn to check for any uh, new a, any any genetic disorders, uh, for the newborn so that you get to know about it ahead and can start the treatment for that if any family you know it happens in some family history there are certain diseases from uh, you know from the time of birth so for that as a genetic counselor your job is to evaluate the risk for the newborn baby to have that disorder and to like obviously uh, evaluate the disease and also to exclude that that's that will be your job and also to study the family tree family history and to find out the probability of uh, the boy or girl getting the disorder well in india we cannot differentiate between boy and girl uh, naturally or legally but still the demand of genetic counselor in outside of india is huge and almost it becomes a uh, it became a fashion, it became a simple test procedure to go through just like blood test and all the other tests. Genetic profiling is one simple event before the birth. But uh, in case of India, it's still not that grown up market, but there's a chance of this market to grow in future times. Because genetic counseling requires money and time uh, and Indian people don't have both of that. So as Indian people will get more and more money and will be more cautious about uh, their offspring and how they are born, born and all these things to, to find out and eliminate any genetic disorders, this market will increase in future. Now, apart from that, uh, what else you need to do is again genetic profiling for a forensic study. So as a genetic counselor or genetic researcher, you can also find out genetic profiling or DNA fingerprinting analysis for uh, specimens collected from a crime scene. So crime scene is investigation in the backdrop is another thing that you can do as a genetic engineer okay so when i say genetics you take genetics as a career you can be a genetic engineer or you can become a simple degree holder of a genetics in graduation and genetics in masters so there's a difference between the two for my opinion genetic engineering degree for a btech in genetic engineering is far better compared to a general bsc in genetics and msc in genetics okay all right so now let me tell you the scheme of events or, or, or how to move to get a genetics degree so start with the plus two 
plus two with uh, biology PCB, then BSc in genetics, MSc in genetics, and if you want to do PhD and research work in genetics, you can do that. But to go for PhD, you need to qualify CSI, NET, GATE, ICMR, any of this national level PhD entrance examinations, and then you'll be able to do the PhD. And after PhD, you can continue research and post graduation, uh, post doctoral research studies, or you can simply be a lecturer in university. Now the second thing, you know, generally if you are targeting genetics, your target will be research or as a you know genetic counselor, job as a genetic counselor, not as an academic person. The second uh, scheme should be starting with PCM, that is physics, chemistry, math, or you can go with physics, chemistry, biology. But generally in this case, uh, math is needed because here you'll be going for BTech in genetic engineering. Then you'll be doing MTech in genetic engineering. Now for this BTech and MTech in genetic engineering, still till BTech. You can get a placement service and from there you can start your career as a genetic counselor because you'll be doing genetic engineering now there is a difference between genetics as a graduation and masters and genetic engineering in genetic engineering there are some portions extra which are uh, more which is going to help you more uh, to become a genetic counselor than that of the bsc and msc in genetics only so that's why it's always better to go with btech genetic engineering you know there are different degrees offered by different private universities in india for these different segments of genetics make sure that they offer good placement services because if you're studying genetics to work as a genetic counselor and the recruiters will be research institutes of india the good old research institutes as well as some of the hospitals and some of the private sector hospitals as well so if you if you want to work there you need to make sure that the organization where you're studying genetic engineering provide a placement service so what are the salary range for a genetics uh, counselor or genetic uh, geneticist we can say the salary range is medium 3 lakh to 4 lakh per annum just like any other branch of life sciences at the very beginning when you are fresher and then with experience this fee will increase all right so what are the top sectors where a geneticist will be applied and applied with a job as a genetic counselor you know you will be working as a genetic counselor in medical sector then another job in a agricultural sector where you will be working as a uh, plant breeder so plant breeders are also needed who will study the characteristics of seed and uh, they work on the characteristics of seed to improve the characteristics so that a seed becomes better tolerant to drought and also the seed can easily develop into a good quality food okay crop and that will give us good quality food you can also work as a clinical scientist in genomics as well as immunology labs okay where you gather information re regarding a disease and you also understand the impact of a foreign pathogen on the body of human being and also try to reduce the effect of that and, and design something against it so the top sectors for genetics recruiters are healthcare sectors uh, agricultural sectors animal care centers laboratories and research centers so it can be tata institute of genetics and society it could be cancer genomic or genetics incorporation it can be center for human genetics institute of stem cell science and regenerative medicine these are quite a few among the big list of different institutes that they offer job to geneticists all right so genetics is a career which is not picking up yet in india but has a potential to pick up in future if it picks up then it will give immense opportunity for the geneticists or genetics pass out candidates to go and get a good job a good paid job and good work life balance and this is a subject which is directly linked to the human welfare so obviously with the recent pol policies of our government that encourages any research work that is linked with direct human welfare is going to benefit so as the genetics field will benefit but yet to happen right so right now what i can say is that the demand for the genetics is not that catching up but the people very less people actually apply for genetics as a graduation or btech degree so the competition in this field is still low and once the demand increases at the very beginning of two to five years the competition will still be low with higher demand so many of you will get a job a good job so at that time it will be best time to go ahead and continue your genetics degree well I now i'm going to give you my verdict and score for genetic engineering as a career option in india so if you want to choose genetic engineering career in india what should be good or bad 
one is the preparation cost the cost for preparing for uh, genetic engineering is really high because it will be a part of btech or engineering degree it will be high for a genetics bsc and msc it's comparatively low so i'll keep it preparation cost as high the demand in future is moderate not very high not very low it should increase with time but right now keeping five years in mind the demand in future is moderate and the salary as a fresher is also moderate so keeping all these three things in mind we have two yellow dots and one red dot that gives us score 4.5 out of 10 that's the genetic engineering school that i can give you 4.5 out of 10 which is not very good i keep it red genetic engineering may be good genetic engineering is good if you keep that mind and thinking of yourself as a genetic counselor but if the demand increases in future this number will also increase but the cost of preparation is really high so keeping that in mind it's 4.5 out of 10. either you go with bsc msc if you want to continue as a researcher in the genetics field or go with btech genetics engineering and then go for a job so that's all about genetics as a career opportunity and genetics job in india in 2022 if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.